Yo, listen, we're on day nine of building a DEI website. This time I'm gonna show you how to create a news web part. And the purpose of this is so that you can have, you, you're gonna come across all these dope news stories that you wanna share with your team. You can curate them into one place. Where? Your SharePoint site, you are. Right? So let's jump into the computer. Also, shout out to the Bills. Hopefully they win tonight. Okay, we're back at our DEI website. Um, we've been building this over the last few days. I appreciate y'all rocking with me. Look what we got. We got our link to our event. We got the, the button to the survey. We got buttons to other, our other assets, and we got policies. Now, I'm going to edit this page and add what is called a news web part. Uh, I'm going to add it underneath the survey. Type in news right here, and all I got to do is just find a news web part, and that's it. We're done. We've added a news web part to our page. The only thing we need to do now is populate it. I don't like it right there. Let's 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 reconfigure this page a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna add a section, and then I'm gonna drag the news section, the news web part into that section. Then, uh, let me see now. Let's change the layout of this section. I'm gonna make it uh, the one third right, and then I'm gonna put the buttons in that little right section over there, right? Now, as we do this, you notice our mission statement is going further down the page. We don't want to do that. We want to keep our mission statement, you know, somewhere at the top because I know people are into mission statements. Y'all want to put your mission statement at the top. You know, my recommendation is just always to keep it short. So let's drag it up here above the event registration. But I actually want to put it in its own section. So let's add a, another section, a full page one, one column. Add it up there. Um, and now this looks better. Let's republish. And so now we're good to go. I think the page flows pretty well. We got the mission statement, the event registration. We take our survey over there on the right. We got our news. We got our buttons. Policies are underneath there. I would change that, but it's fine. We could do that later. Let's go to Google and grab some news articles. Type in DEI. You see I've already Googled this stuff. Now I'm on the news section of uh, DEI. So you see I already clicked on these. Let's just do it again. Let me... Um, take this URL this is all you got to do just copy this URL go back to your page hit add and choose news link that's the one you want don't do the news post take that link post it there and look what happens it propagates all the information then you just hit post bada bing bada boom there's your new um, web uh, article or your news article now let's go get another one let's go back to Google um, let's grab uh, the superintendent cancels Halloween. I'm going to grab that URL. Ah, that mass shooting, boy. I tell you what, man. Um, news link, paste the link, uh, hit post, and there you go. You've just added another news article. Let's keep it going, bro. Let's keep it going. Let's get another one. Um, so the corporate capture of DEI. Let's grab that URL. Let's see what they're talking about. Put it on the page. Hit add. News link. Paste the link in there. Watch it populate all the information that you need. You hit post. Boom. You see this, this, this web part is starting to take shape. Now, if I hit new po news post... This is where I create my own article. I, write, I get my own picture. I write up my own text. I do all of that right here on this page, which is pretty much the same thing we did with the DEI site, the DEI page that we're building. This is what you do. You just configure a page. But for this um, tutorial, we're not doing that. We're going to stick with our DEI site over here. Um, now, let me show you what you can do now with this layout. So... Or, yeah, let's let's grab one more article, actually. Um, who decides? This is New York Times. And it's not behind a paywall. Okay, cool. So let's grab this URL. Let's hit add news link. Drop that link in there. Boom, everything populates. Cool, hit post. I think you get the gist. You understand, you just got to go grab the link. Hit news link and then, you know, you're good to go. Now, look, we can change the layout by editing this um, web part. Look, you can turn it into a list at the click of a button. 
can make it side by side. It'll probably look different if it filled out the whole section, but the buttons are in the way, so it kind of look a little different. That's cool. Um, you click Hub News, and it looks like that. If you click Carousel, you get one at a time, and you can like cycle through it. So that's really good if you're trying to save some space. Um, and then you could do this one right here, which is the tiles, so you don't get as much detail. You pretty much just get the pictures laid out a certain way. I'm going to go back to Top Story, which is the one we started with. I'm going to republish the page. And that is it. That's how you use the news web part.